Hello and welcome back to Faith and Wellness. And together we continue our Mary's Mantle Conse Consecration Retreat. A spiritual retreat for heaven's help for individuals that are busy, families, groups, and parishes. And it was written by Christine Watkins. Come, Holy Spirit, guide us. Enlighten us. Give us wisdom, discernment, purity of mind and heart. And open our eyes and ears to learn from our Heavenly Mother. O Most Holy Mother, whom I love tenderly as my own, in your sacred presence, I offer to you these days of preparation for consecration in honor of the stars that adorn your heavenly mantle. I appeal to you and for your intentions, for all the intentions of those that are following alone and doing Mary's mantle consecration. I'm going to wait a minute so you can say your intentions here. Please show me the sweet compassion that you shower upon San Juan Diego, your messenger. Please give me a pure and virtuous heart like your own so that I may derive the same consolation, the soothing of my pains and the lifting of my soul that Juan Diego received from the gentle words you gave, you gave to him centuries ago. Listen, put it into your heart, my dearest one, the things that disturb you, the things that afflict you, or nothing, do not let your countenance, your heart be disturbed. Do not fear any sickness, nor anything that is sharp or hurtful. Am I not here? I, who am your mother? Are you not in the hollow of my mantle, in the crossing of my arms? Do you need anything more? Yesterday, we meditated on the 10 star acceptance. And today, on the meditations on virtues and the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, we are... Meditating today on the 11th star, which is patience. And yesterday, uh, when we talked about acceptance, you know, it's, it's very hard to accept things but but the power lies within me to embrace or reject those things I cannot change and the rest thus we have that decision to make in the palm of our hands but remember with God he can give us 
the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change and and the wisdom to know the difference. And now, today we're focusing on the 11 star, patience. Patience begins with knowing and accepting peacefully that we are essentially limited. We desire to do and be something great, but in this life, we are able to do little. And the little we'll do with great effort will yield limited results. Herein lies true wisdom and humility. If we can accept, if we can accept our limited nature, even the great saints didn't know of their own greatness and wish they had been able to do and be so much more. Illusion leads to dissolution. Staring at the stars, staring, sorry, staring at the stars, pondering the universe, contemplating the infinite accomplishments and attributes of the Almighty. How can we feel anything but small? In reality, we fly very low in comparison with the divine heights of Jesus. Be saddened by our state? No, ashamed of who we are, never. The peaceful key to weathering the slow progression of holiness in ourselves and others and accepting the timing of God in the world is patience. A woman planted an extensive field of wheat. She returned the next week and saw that nothing had sprouted. It seemed to her that the seeds had died in the, in the coffin-like soil. Disappointed, she came back two weeks later, only to find that everything looked the same no signs of life. Then four weeks passed and she delighted to see as she walked into the field the tender green shoots had poked timidly up from the earth. Time journey on and inches of winter snow piled itself on top of the the fledge light stalks, flattening them under its weight. But the wheat plants persevered. Then a terrible frost came, Re relentless, Re relentless, relentless. In its threat to destroy, the wheat could not grow and lost many of its blades, but still clung obstinately to life. A spring finally arrived and the wheat began to breathe. In time, brave stalks began to reach upward for the sun, but from one month, to the next, their growth was so slow that the woman could not see any change. A few months went by, and she returned, much to her joy and surprise, extending before her and over the horizon was an immense and majestic golden wheat field swaying, undulating, in the breeze, whether as the wheat or the woman, one can put forth all the impatient fretting in the world and not make the way grow one day sooner, one inch taller. Patience achieves all. Patience achieve all. Is that one of the bridges that you need to grow on?
Do you suffer from anxiety? Do you suffer from restlessness? How about getting your journal? Grab your journal. Make a list. Instead of instead of um, make a list of um, of all the things that you are patient at. Are you patient with your mother? Are you patient with your brother, your sister, your husband? Are you patient with your kids? Now, are you patient with yourself? If you said yes, you might not suffer from any anxiety. But if you say no, you might end up with a lot of anxiety. So, we're going to pray today. We're going to ask God through the intercession of Mama Mary for this virtue. Patience. And what's the opposite of of patience? It's being always in a rush of doing things, doing things, wanting to do that. But remember, patient, patience begins with knowing and accepting peacefully that we are essentially limited. And we desire, when we desire to do and be something great in this life, But we have to remember that we can do all things through Christ who gives us the patience, the graces that we need to get those goals and objectives that we have. But we also need to align it to the will of God for us. And if we do that and we entrust patiently our desires and ask God to show us the, what's his will then we will be patient we will have peace we will have acceptance we will persevere we will forgive ourselves for being impatient we will have the endurance the tenacity we will have the kindness the trust, the love, the commitment, and we'll always be giving thanksgiving. Remember, patience, patience achieves all. So, in your journal, Right. How are you going to allow God to grow in the virtue of patience? Okay. Think about it, write about it, and give it all to God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen.